Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Our topic for today is Native organisms. Question arises, why is gram-negative bacteria called such? It is called gram-negative because it does not retain the crystal violet stain used in gram-staining method of bacterial differentiation. To our basic discussion of gram-negative cocci, the first organism is Nzeri meningitidis. Basically, first of all, we start with the structure. Now, this is a kidney-shaped diplococci. Okay, we'll build up our organism from the outside towards the inside. Now, the outermost layer is a polysaccharide capsule, which is responsible for the virulence of this organism. This is important because it provides antiphagocytic action, meaning that it cannot be destroyed by macrophages, polymorph nuclear cells, and even antibodies. The density of this polysaccharide capsule, there are basically 13 serotypes, but five amongst them are most common. That includes A, that causes leading cause of epidemic meningitis, B, that accounts for the most disease in the US, C, Y, and W135, disease which is responsible for water filtration disease. Protein that is present in its outermost membrane is immunoglobulin A protease, IgA, that is present on the respiratory tract or the pharyngeal wall. By cleaving this, this helps the organism to adhere to the respiratory mucosa and further cause infection. It also contains an endotoxin in the outermost membrane, which is not Now this lipoligosaccharide consists of a lipid A, which is a lipid that is that is made up of this, and it also consists upon few amount of sugars. That is in contrast to lipopolysaccharides that is present in enteric rods. The property of this organism is that it grows on chocolate. Is that it grows on chocolate agar. This is the agar in, on which this bacteria is being cultured. Now this agar is formed by heating of blood at 80 degrees to inactivate inhibitor. This organism's oxidase is positive because they possess enzyme cytochrome C. Whenever this is exposed to phenylene diamine, this organism turns from pink to purple or even black. This organism is spread by airborne droplets. They colonize in the nasopharynx and become a transient part of the flora. Approximately 5% of the people they become chronic carriers and are asymptomatic. But in some patients, this organism entered the bloodstream and spread to all of the body, including the meninges, resulting in meningitis. When this organism starts to the rest of the body, including the joint and muscles, this is known as meningococcemia. When this organism ascends up to the meninges, resulting in meningitis, the patient has the following features. Fever, headache, neck stiffness, altered sensorium, an increased number of polymorph nuclear cells in the CSF. Now the other condition in which um, this organism spreads to the whole of the body, manifesting as a water house federation syndrome. The following are the points that can be seen in the patient. That includes fever, shock condition when the BP drops and the pulse is very high, widespread purpura, adrenal insufficiency, thrombocytopenia and disseminated intervascular coagulation. Those are done in order to reduce this organism. Upon ground stain of the blood sample and the spinal fluid, we can find a diplococci. We culture this organism upon chocolate agar at 37 degrees centigrade and 5% carbon dioxide atmosphere. But in order to reduce two types of diplococci, which are Nazari meningitis as well as Nazari gonorrhea, we do a maltose test. Because Nazari meningitis ferments, Maltose. This helps us to differentiate between these two organisms. Another test we can differentiate these two gram-negative cocci are on immunofluorescence. But for rapid identification of this organism, we do a latex agglutination test in which the capsular polysaccharide is easily detected in the spinal fluid. The organism is penicillin G. And the second choice is third generation cephalosporin such as cephtriaxone. Action against this organism is by two methods, chemoprophylaxis and immunization. Chemoprophylaxis includes by the use of rivampicin, ciprofloxin in those patients who have contacts with the index case. This is preferred over penicillin G as it is effectively secreted in the saliva. In immunization, we use meningococcal vaccine. There are two forms, conjugated and unconjugated. The conjugated includes menectra and menevo, whereas unconjugated includes menumone.